Hi, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Hope everyone's having a glorious day in our precious King Yeshua HaMashiach. King Yeshua, the Messiah, our Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy of Holies. Bless His holy and mighty name. Today I'll be reading John 14 to go along with the word I received on 18 September 2015. And here we go. Chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, shew us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away, and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the Prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father. And as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. 
Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Holy Father Yahweh, I thank you for your perfect and precious word. I thank you for your promises that you will never leave me nor forsake me, that you will never lie to me nor deceive me, that you will never hurt me. Your promises are true and I stand upon each and every one of them. I love you, my glorious God. Thank you for your precious Son. Thank you for your beautiful Holy Spirit. Thank you for being my God. I love you forever and ever. Amen and amen. I received this word on 18 September 2015 at 4.37 p.m. Daughter, these are my words for all of my children today. It is direly important that my lost, my backslidden, and my lukewarm hear me this moment. There will be no dates given, but, oh, my children, we are ever so close now. I have given my daughter a word that will not be released as of yet. When it is released, you will be ever so near destruction. This is how close we are, my beloved children. My lukewarm do not believe that we are in the end of my era of grace. Please do not wait to come walk with me. Please answer the door of your heart, for it is me. How I wait for you to let your Savior in, so I may give you my truth and my ways, not man's. My enemy has been given the ability to deceive my children, if they are not in me, fully surrendered to their Lord God Almighty. He has access to you as you leave your doors and windows wide open, my love. It is the way that I get my love's attention, although I have many other ways also. He is a useful tool in my toolbox. I have given my faithful the ability to keep the enemy away. My mighty and powerful name is the only name that has crushed the enemy. He is defeated. My word says the enemy must flee at the mention of my name. Use it, my love. Rebuke the wicked thoughts from the enemy in my name, King Yeshua HaMashiach, or Lord Jesus Christ. Either one is the same glorious person, me, the one true God, Jehovah. My love, I am so very excited about the time now. Soon I will see each one of my beloved bride right in front of me. What a happy Savior and bridegroom I will be. Counting down the time remaining, your everlasting God, Jehovah Elohim.